Hey everybody, this is Jack Hammer of the Santa Rosa Press Democrat. Hope you're all doing well today. Preseason is come and gone. The roster has been set. All that's left is for the 49ers is to focus on the season ahead. And with kickoff coming up on Sunday in Chicago, now is the perfect time to make some bold predictions. Here are my five bold predictions for the 49ers in 2022. Number one, Jeff Wilson Jr. will lead the 49ers in rushing touchdowns. When Jeff Wilson Jr. is healthy, he is one of the best running backs on the 49ers roster, especially in short yard situations. If you recall back in 2020, Wilson led the team in rushing touchdowns with seven. Wilson is healthy again this season. This has shown on the practice field and during his lone appearance in the preseason. The explosiveness and power are back in Wilson's legs, and he'll once again find his way into the end zone often. Bowl prediction number two. The 49ers defense will record the most sacks in a season under Kyle Shanahan. The 49ers defense has twice recorded 48 sacks in a season during the Kyle Shanahan era, those coming in 2019 and 2021. They appear primed to top that total this year. Nick Bosa is coming off a 15.5 sack season last year and wrecked, have wrecked training camp practice on a regular basis. Joining Bosa along the starting defensive line is going to be Samson Ebicom. Eric Armstead, and Javon Kinlaw. Armstead has recorded six or more sacks in each of the two seasons he's played alongside Bosa. On the opposite side is Samson Ebicom, who is looking to surpass four and a half sacks for the first time in his career. If he finally gets more than 51% of the defensive snaps, he'll get there. Javon Kinlaw is set for a breakout season. The defensive tackle was the first round draft pick of the Farners in 2020. And for the first time in his career with the 49ers, he's healthy. He finally feels good and has looked strong throughout training camp and preseason. In addition to the starting lineup, San Francisco's defensive line is one of the deepest and most talented in the NFL, with players such as Kevin Givens, Charles Amenahu, Ricky Drake Jackson, Kara Heider Jr., and Jordan Willis rotating in the 49ers coming at opposing offenses in waves. Number three, the 49ers will throw for fewer yards this season than they did last year. Last season, the Friars threw for 4,221 yards. They won't, won't reach that total this year, but it's not a bad thing. San Francisco's offense was at its best in 2021 when it was able to stay committed to the run. This played a large role in turning a 3-5 and five start into a 10-7 and seven record and a trip to the NFC Championship game. Focusing on the run was also the formula the Friars offense carried into both starts for Trey Lance last year. In the two games started by Lance, the Friars ran the ball 54% of the time, with Lance throwing an average of only 26 times per game. Putting those numbers together, along with Lance's completion percentage in yards per attempt, the total passing yards comes to right around 3,785, somewhere in that range. That yard, yardage total would be solid for a first-year starting quarterback. If you look at it, it's almost exactly what Mac Jones had in his rookie season last year with the New England Patriots. Number four, Debo Samuel will surpass 1,000 rushing yards for the second year in a row. The season Debo Samuel put together in 2021 was second only to Jerry Rice in total yards from scrimmage for a 49ers wide receiver in team history. In fact, Samuel was on pace to have the second highest receiving yards total in San Francisco history until circumstances forced him to spend more time at running back. Samuel started out slow in training camp after the, missing the beginning due to a, a contract dispute with the 49ers. Even with this, the fourth-year wideout showed he is still one to be reckoned with. Samuel is a threat to score anytime he gets the ball in his hands. And with Trey Lance throwing the ball, he's going to help out that that first-year starting quarterback, just as he did with Jimmy Garoppolo in 2019 and 2021. And lastly, number five, the 49ers defense will record the most interceptions this season since 2014. 2014 Four Niners defense recorded 23 interceptions in an otherwise forgettable season. Under the current regime, San Francisco's defense is not top 12 in a season. That's going to change this year. Nothing drives up interception totals more than a strong pass rush and tight coverage. We detailed the pass rush earlier. The tight coverage will come from free agent acquisition Travis Ward at cornerback to go along with Emmanuel Mosley. Those two give the Four Niners very good man cover corners on the outside. In addition to Ward and Mosley, 
Friars improved their pass coverage in the slot as well when they selected Samuel Womack in the fifth round. The rookie has shown the ability to be around the ball. He had two picks in his first preseason game against Green Bay, and he's had a number of other pass breaks up, breakups. And then you go to the back end of the defense and you find Talano Hufanga. The second year safety was a ball hawk during his time at USC. And this has transferred over to training camp this year and we, as Hufanga starts to step in and replace Sikwaski Tart. Those are my five burning, my five bold predictions for the Fournier's in 2022. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you if you did, if you could do me a favor, hit that like button and then also hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber to the channel. When you hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell notification as well so you don't miss any of the shows as they go live. And last but not least, get yourselves over to 49ers.pressdemocrat.com. That's where all of the writing that I do goes. And you can find all of that there at 49ers.pressdemocrat.com. That is the Inside the 49ers blog. Thank you so much. This is Jack Hammer. Have a great rest of your day.